you know, you're doing the thing and, and when it's happening, you can't help, you know, you just have it and you're doing it. But then out of nowhere, you didn't even know it was going to be there. You didn't even know. I mean, how, but then you sit, you think about it and then it's like, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the Great Big Picture Show. It's Wednesday. As always, this is a super great at-home movie time. Every Wednesday, I bring you a recommendation of something to watch on Netflix, Redbox, Amazon Prime, Hulu, something maybe you have free internet to look at, TV channels that you can probably find one of these on. Maybe you give it a shot, and I don't know about, but give it a shot, and we'll see. And for today's super great at-home movie time, today's super great at-home movie time, it's not necessarily a movie, specifically. I would probably characterize it as a movie, because I don't really know how else you would characterize it. But on Netflix, I am recommending Mike Birbiglia's My Girlfriend's Boyfriend. Now, Mike Birbiglia is a well-known stand-up comedian. You may know him from his movie Sleepwalk With Me that he wrote, starred in, and directed it also on Netflix. And over the years, he has gained a very, very nice very proud following with his humor being very relatable bashful understanding and very sweet now with my girlfriend's boyfriend i'm hesitant to call it a movie because it is a one-man show filmed in a theater but it's so well constructed so well written and performed that i just absolutely think you should watch it stand-up comedy has slowly but surely been edging its way taking over Netflix week by week with new stand-up specials from the top and very up-and-coming stand-up comedians here and there. And there is absolutely no doubt that My Girlfriend's Boyfriend is one of the very, very highest, highest, high lights of Netflix. Now, first off with Mike Birbiglia, he's extremely relatable and sweet to watch. The way he carries the story is so earnest and sincere. And at no point do you feel like you're watching a show necessarily. Uh, the entire time it feels as though he's talking one-on-one -on -one just with you. Now as a stand-up routine, it's extremely funny and it's extremely funny in the moments of how human it really is. He goes through romantic hardships, ups and downs, very serious moments. And by the end of it, the entire show leaves you with an emotional heft that I don't think that you will expect going in. It's a true testament to his ability as a writer and a performer, showing how comfortable he is on stage and how well constructed this whole show really is. As intimate as it is heartfelt and effective, there's no way you can't take something away from it and feel yourself a little bit fuller after you leave it. Hearing his thoughts on marriage and love as a whole really finds its way into the back of your head and reflects on your own feelings on the subject as well. And really amplifies the pure power of love in and of itself, no matter how cliche that can or has become. As I said, emotionally sincere and extremely honest and rare how intimate it feels. Mike Birbiglia's My Girlfriend's Boyfriend is on Netflix and I sincerely urge you to watch it. I think, think I'm done. I think I'm done now. What should I do now? I don't really know how I feel about these contacts. Feels like things are still kind of blurry. Do you guys shave your toes? I'm asking for a friend. Anyways, this is the Great Big Picture Show. I'm Spencer Howard Feldman. As always, it's been an absolute joy to see you and be seen. Please like, share, and subscribe. Everything you see with this face on it. Have a good day. Have a good night. And please hug somebody because you mean it. Okay, bye.